the European fishing fleets will keep their quotas in UK waters until the end of July. The responsible EU ministers, in coordination with Great Britain, decided to temporarily extend the quotas which will expire on March 31st. The main purpose of this agreement is to buy time for a final agreement. They hoped that this interim solution would only have a short lifespan and could soon be replaced by new fixed catch quotas, said EU Fisheries Commissioner Virginius Zinkevicius. The interim solution that has now been found could help alleviate the current tensions in the European-British relationship. At least that is what the Portuguese presidency hopes, which is above all keeping an eye on the ongoing bilateral trade talks. The interim solution is important because it gives the EU strength in the negotiations with London, said Portuguese Council President Ricardo Serrao Santos. All member states are behind the compromise and now the best possible deal must be found in the interests of the EU and Great Britain. Europe's fishermen will have access to British waters for a five and a half year transition period. During this time, the catch quotas will gradually decrease by 25%. Federal Minister Julia Klöckner said, Our fishermen can continue working from April 1st. There will be no interruption. That is the key message. With the ordinance, there is now planning and legal security for another four months. Sustainability and economic efficiency are in a good balance so that the stocks can regenerate. But it is also clear that we need a longer term solution. We will campaign for this in further negotiations, she, uh, she said. On the other hand, the EU Agriculture and Fisheries Council was able to set final catch quotas for stocks that have already been finally negotiated between the EU, Great Britain and Norway. The results are also part of the current quota resolutions and are very important for German fisheries in the North Sea and in northern Norwegian waters. Julia Klöckner said, I would like to express my thanks to the EU Commission for the conduct of the negotiations and the conclusion of these extraordinarily difficult negotiations. Access to Norwegian waters is of great importance for our cutter fishery for SAFE. A new fisheries agreement was also reached with Greenland at the beginning of the year, the results of which will be implemented in EU law with the current quota resolutions. Fishing for cod and black halibut in Greenlandic waters is traditionally very important for German fishermen. The new agreement provides planning security and stability, especially for the German deep sea fleet, which has suffered significant catch losses due to Brexit, said the Federal Minister. After Great Britain has left the European Union, the posting of German and British workers to the other country must also be placed on a new legal basis. The Bundestag will discuss the draft law presented by the federal government for the first time today. Without debate, though. After the subsequent transfer to the Bundestag Social Committee, according to the plans of the parliamentary group managers, the second uh, blow follows the next day. Then the same draft, together with another necessary bill, should also take the final hurdle in parliament. With its submission, the German government wants to ensure that the posting regulations for workers between the EU and the United Kingdom will continue to apply now after Brexit. The draft law refers to the Protocol on Social Security Coordination to the Trade and Cooperation Agreement of 30th December 2020 between the EU and the United Kingdom on the other side. The protocol provides for the possibility for the member states to continue to apply the previous union law rules on social security posting of workers and self-employed persons in relations with Great Britain within the framework of the trade and cooperation agreement. Another law is intended to determine the German authority responsible for the protocol the German liaison offices at the social insurance institutions, the German authorities responsible for determining the applicable law and the German access points for cross-border electronic data exchange. 
According to the will of the federal government, the previous responsibilities should continue to apply in the future. The government's draft law states the trade and cooperation agreement between the European Union and the European Atomic Energy Community on the one hand and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland on the other hand with its protocol on social security coordination regulates the future coordination of social security in the areas pension, accident, health and unemployment insurance between the European Union and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The regulations are designed according to principles that also apply within the EU for the coordination of social security systems. And London's financial sector is suffering from Brexit and the Dutch are taking their chance. I talked about this before already. By attracting companies, for example. A company headquarters in Amsterdam is now particularly popular with growth um, and companies that want to attract investors on the US stock exchange Nasdaq. The last prominent case was the vaccine manufacturer CureVac, um, financed by SAP founder Dietmar Hopp, in which the federal government is also involved. Companies like CureVac leave their business in Germany, formally relocate their headquarters to the Netherlands and are then listed on the stock exchange in the USA. The German biotech stocks uh, Quiagen, um, a fine therapeutic, therapeutics, and last year Centrogen went the same way. The Düsseldorf travel portal Trivago also had its formal headquarters in the Netherlands and then looked for donors in the USA. It is clear why companies chose Nasdaq. In the USA, there is more risk capital and investors pay more for biotech companies in particular. But why the company headquarters in the Netherlands? Because the relaxed Dutch stock cooperation law gives major shareholders more freedom. Companies with a legal seat in Germany are subject to more restrictive company law regulations, says capital market lawyer Henning uh, Bloss, partner at Covington and Berling in Frankfurt. Quickly bring in a major investor and sell them for 100 million new shares at a preferential price. That works under Dutch law, but not under German law. In the case of capital increase, if third-party investors are to receive new shares at preferential conditions, you may only issue new shares within narrow limits, says Bloss. If the previous shareholders are excluded, companies may only increase capital um, by a maximum of 10% and only at a price close to the stock market price. Biotechs are very capital intensive companies that always need new financing rounds, says Bloss. A discount of less than 10% to the stock market price is often too little to attract new investors. US investors in particular expect a higher discount. These restrictions are the main reason for companies to look for a seat in the Netherlands. The Dutch are more flexible here, very active and good at making their financial center more attractive, says Bloss. For Germany as a financial center, it is a loss that some companies are leaving for existing shareholders that cannot be watered down at will. Um, protection against it makes sense. Small shareholders remain in the game even after capital increases, even if new shares are placed at very favorable prices and they keep their fair share of future profits. And so we will see if um, there will be any need or any discussion about this for making it more um, eye leveled on, on the European Union's level um, for all the member states. But at the moment, it's the way that it is. And um, if Germany keeps the law, although it is possible to do it differently, there are probably reasons, but we will have to wait and see about the future developments. And if you now want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.